how do you make that transition? How do you take that big leap from being like, okay, I've got my feet wet with, with sourcing here. Let's see if we can make that big leap into um, sourcing in China. Well, of course it seems really out of reach. And also we hear all these things about China. We hear that, you know, it, the government is crazy and this it's so controlled. And, you know, I mean, me with my military background, it was definitely nerve wracking. <laughs> it was nerve wracking to go. I had this vision of like, what is China like? Like, you know, is it going to be like, I kind of had this vision of like gloom and doom, you know, yeah. like, okay, like, what are these hotels going to be like? Are they going to be like torture? And, you know, is, am I going to be able to get around and is it safe? And, you know, and so what is wonderful about putting on a trip is you remove all of those barriers for people. Okay. You may like, when you get there, all you have to think about, if you come to China with me, all you have to think about is booking your flight and getting your visa. And I help you with all of that. So that's it. That's all you have to worry about is getting to the airport in Guangzhou. And that's a very, there's huge airport, you know, very easy to get to, right? Um, and so you get to the airport and we have somebody there with a sign. The minute you get out of customs, we have somebody there with a sign with a private car to take you to the hotel so that you're not like, oh, how do I get around around here? What do I do? You know, you'll see a big sign with your name on it and you'll be, taken off to the hotel. Now, the other cool thing about Guangzhou is it's a huge city. Most of the cities in China are much bigger than anything we have in the US. And um, the transportation is great. It's very, um, it's, it's like any other big city around the world. At night, everything lights up. It's beautiful. There's amazing restaurants and there's a great nightlife. And I think when you think about, I don't know, but for me, when I thought about China, I, I expected it to be different, you know? And then when we went out to these huge, like beautiful restaurants and had uh, drinks at the, at the nightclub and just, it was like, whoa, okay. This place is actually really cool and it's really fun. There's parks everywhere. There's rivers. Uh, we're gonna go on a Pearl River cruise. We're gonna go on some city tours. There's some beautiful buildings to explore. Um, so it's like any other big city. I mean, you hear about Shanghai, you hear about Beijing, you know, those places are really exciting and they're not out of your reach. Mm -hmm. And it's actually really affordable to go like your, your meals. Well, we cover like 90% of your meals, right. And all of your transportation throughout the time, your transportation to and from the Canton fair, um, your breakfast every day, we eat breakfast together in the hotel. And then we head over to the Canton fair together. We're going to go on factory tours together so that we can teach you what should you be expecting if maybe you want to go visit your suppliers. That's what I did. I was sourcing from the same trading company. I had to learn the difference between a factory and a trading company. I was sourcing from the same trading company on Alibaba. I still source from them to this day. 